Hi everybody, it's Black Sheep Girl. I'm laying down because I've had a headache since yesterday. And it hurts really, really bad. So I just wanted to talk to you about something that I feel is really important. I know is really important. They're talking about food shortages and all kinds of stuff lately. And people might feel afraid. They're talking about not, you know, whether you should take some sort of shot and if you don't that you shouldn't get help from a hospital you shouldn't be able to go out and do things and also talking about food shortages and also talking about other things Jesus wants us to lean on him and he wants us to rely on him fully. Totally lean on him and pray that he'll take away any fear you may have because perfect love casts out all fear and his love is perfect. And um, just keep relying on him no matter what you see, no matter how you might feel, just keep leaning on him. And he'll take care of everything. He'll take care of you. And he knows what's best for you. So just rely on him. Whether times seem good or bad, whether they are good or bad, just keep leaning on Jesus. And he'll take care of you, okay? If you don't know Jesus, call out to him. Cry out to him. And ask for repentance. I mean, cry out to him in repentance. <clears throat> and ask for him to save you. Because he is the only way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me but by, by, the, by the Father. John fourteen six. Rely on Jesus because he's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. And there is no other way. And that he'll lead the way and take care of everything. And I uh, just want to tell you this because it might have scared people. I was talking to this person that I've known for a couple of for about six years, like much better for about six years or so. And and uh, he was saying about taking the mark. And he said, well, I have to help my family. And I and that's why I read from the revelation about the mark and what, can ha what will happen. And he didn't know what to say. Rely on Jesus and he'll take care of you. Even if you die, he'll take you in his arms and carry you home. So please lean on Jesus, no matter what your government or any other government or system, world system does to you, directly or indirectly. Just keep leaning on Jesus for everything, your salvation. Jesus is the rock of our salvation. You know how people say, oh, she's been, or he's been my rock. Jesus is our rock. There is no other than Jesus. There is no other we can lean on but Jesus. So will you, will you just pray along with me and, and, um, I thank you. Dear Lord, there's a lot of things going on that we don't understand. We don't know why they're happening. They might make us angry, make us um, feel um, alone, or they might make us, they, well, they might, we may, as a result, feel lonely or fearful, or we might feel angry. I pray you'll help us to center everything on you. No matter what we hear, no matter what we're told, help us to focus on you, not the media, not the news, not social media, not to rely on anything else but you, not to rely on anyone else. 
But you, Lord, the time is going to come sooner than later where people are going to have to take a mark if they don't, if they want to eat and, and stuff. But you will provide a way for your people. And that mark is like worshiping the beast. We don't want to worship the beast. We don't want to worship Satan. We want to worship you. And I'm saying the world will tell them that they have to take a mark to eat and to trade and to sell and, and buy. But you will, pro you will provide for your people. You will make a way for your people, Lord. I just pray in your name, Jesus, that you will wash over us boldness and courage courageousness and no fear that we will stand strong no matter whether it's good times or bad times and that we will not be afraid lord i thank you dear lord help us to endure through all this stuff that's happening a lot of people are being mind controlled with the media and the shows on TV about vaccinated and unvaccinated. Please, Jesus, help us during these times. Like I said, good times, bad times, whatever it might seem at the time, let us in on you always, 100%. And I thank you, Lord, for your love, and I pray you would, I pray you would help people to want to know you through this video and any other videos for you, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for anyone who is having headaches. Lord Jesus, in your name I pray you heal them. I thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your word and for your death and resurrection on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you will, um, when it's time, that we won't be afraid if we have to die for you. We won't be afraid. You'll give us peace and you'll give us boldness to go before these people and die for you if that's what you've called for us to do. Lord, and I pray that the people that see your people dying for you, whenever that might be, that they will, there will be a remnant of those people who will say, surely he is God, surely he is the Savior. And that they will believe, Lord. Please, Lord, help us to be strong and, and help us to rest in you. Because you're, you're, you're everything we need. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching, guys. If you don't mind praying for me, I've had a headache since yesterday. And it's still hurting. It's kind of like on the top of my head and in the front. And it's kind of in my neck too. So if you will pray for me, thank you. I'm okay otherwise. I'm just, my head hurts. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.